Hi everyone, welcome to Board Femme. My name is G and today I am super excited because we are going to be talking about, about my selfie photo shoot with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now I had so much fun shooting content with this phone and its new features which we're going to talk all about today. So I am going to be taking you to one of my favorite rooftops where you get such an amazing view of my city and I am going to be telling you how I felt about the front camera, the rear camera, the new cinematic video feature. I am so hyped about this video. But first things first, let's talk about my favorite camera, which is the front camera. Now, if you've been following me, my, me in my videos, I love the front camera. Now, I believe that all phones, the camera we use the absolute most is always the front. Now, you always see a lot of reviews on the rear camera, but let's be honest. When you're using your phone, when you're out and about, the front camera is the one that you're using the most with you and your friends. Now, I had a blast shooting with the front camera because it actually has a cool new feature, which you're able to do presets. Now the presets kind of work like imagine like um, like an Instagram filter or any filter that you put on like your Snapchat, but instead of applying the filter after the fact, you're actually able to apply the filter before you take the picture. Now, I will warn you, be careful with these filters. Once you take your shot with them, you cannot take the filter off. So if you're going to shoot a bunch of content, make sure that you really test which filter you are going to want the most because you don't want to ruin a perfectly good shot. Now this feature that is called photographic styles comes in standard, rich contrast, vibrant, rich warm, rich cool, and the coolest thing about it all that you are actually able to adjust your tone and your warmth. So once you apply the filter, you can play with, play around with the tone and the warmth depending on your skin tone. Now I am more of a yellow skin tone, so I like my colors to be a little bit more vibrant, but depending on what you're wearing or depending on the background behind you, you are going to want to control those styles to whatever suits you best. Now, if you love the photographic styles, you can actually also use them on your rear camera, which you are going to be able to create some really cool content with. Now, on, while I was on the rooftop, I was able to shoot a bunch of images using what I love the most, which is the wide angle lens. Now, the wide angle lens for me allows me to take in so much more of the scenery. So if I'm in the rooftop and I am shooting content, I am able to get the sky. I am able to get so much more of the buildings. I just love the aesthetic feel of an image when I use the wide angle lens. And if you add the photographic styles, it just creates such, such a dope shot for you to be able to share on your Instagram, create some TikToks, create some reels. You are going to create some banging ass content. But let's get into the feature that everybody is talking about and that is because it is the major upgrade to the iPhone 13 series and that is cinematic mode. Cinematic mode actually allows you to shoot what I like to call Hollywood style and that is it allows you to change the focus of the different subjects in your video. So traditionally if I am shooting a video and I am in front, someone's behind me, the camera is kind of just grabbing whatever is in front of it. It's not necessarily grabbing focus to anything behind you. Cinematic mode changes all that. Now you are able to swap back and forth while you're shooting and the coolest part is that even after you shoot, you're actually able to edit the focus of your subject on your videos, allowing for much more, a much bigger array of content that you can shoot by just having an iPhone. I do have one major complaint with cinematic mode, and that being is, I don't think it's very Afro-friendly. So if you look at my video shots and Basically, what cinematic mode is doing is blurring the background, right? So I have curly hair. I expect my hair to not be blurred out of the video. And the iPhone's actually doing a pretty sucky job at determining where my hair ends. 
giving me a some sort of halo fuzz effect around me, which I'm not a big fan of, and I don't think anyone's gonna be, be a big fan of. So that's a major strike on this for me. Um, let me know in the comments, Is did you buy the iPhone 13? Did Is that happening to you? Is it just kind of happening um, to people with curly hair? Uh, it bothers me a lot, but whatever. It's strike on Apple for that. So what are my general feelings on the iPhone 13 Pro Max? Now, just for some background, the phone that I am currently using is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, I love my phone. I am an avid iPhone user. Um, comparing the images from the 12 to the 13, they both look um, right as what I would expect. I wouldn't really say any major changes, and that includes the front camera as well as the rear camera. Um, the photographic styles, I think, are cool. I think it's, it's a cute add-on, um, but I don't think it's anything kind of life-altering, considering that we have so many apps that can add filters. We can add them on Instagram. Um, yeah, it's, it's a cool feature, but I don't think it's anything kind of revolutionary. Um, cinematic mode on video, I think is pretty cool. I think if you're shooting um, constant video content, um, it will create for a much more upgraded experience and a much upgraded feel for, for the content that you're producing. Um, now for myself, because I'm kind of just shooting um, just casual reels, 15 second, 10 second clips, um, I don't think it's gonna make a major difference in the type of content that I shoot. So from a 12 iPhone perspective, I don't think I would run um, to, to switch over to the 13 because of the additional new features. But I think if you, are, if you have some older models of the iPhone and you are thinking of upgrading to the 13, I think these are some nice bits and some great pluses. Um, but just from my experience and for myself, I, I don't think I would rush to change the 12 to the 13. Um, but tell me your thoughts. How do you feel about um, everything that I just went through? How do you feel about cinematic mode? Is it worth um, the money? Is it worth the upgrade? I would love to hear your thoughts and remember to follow me on all my social media channels to tell me your thoughts on there as well. That is Board Femme with a double O and I will see you guys on my next one.